Today, we are off to Mexico to rebuild Chivas Guadalajara. They have had over 100 seasons consecutively in the top division of Mexico while keeping up with old traditions of only signing Mexican players. And they have just signed an absolute fan favorite, an absolute cult hero in Javier Hernandez Chicharito back to the club where it all started. So today in the rebuild, we're gonna be keeping up with that Mexican player only tradition using Javier Hernandez in this updated database and seeing if we can take Guadalajara back to the top of Mexican football and CONCACAF champions. And if you've never managed in Mexico before, things are a little bit different over here. They have a season to start the season and a season to end the season, known as the Liga BBVA MX Torneo Apreta and the Liga BBVA MX Torneo Clausura, which I believe roughly translates to start and end of the season. So you have a league table where you play your first 17 games, one game against each opposition, and you finish that league table there and then you go into the Torneo Clausura, have 17 games finish off the table there you then go into like a playoff thing at the end of the season which will show when we get there and eventually you become champions of the Apuerta which Chivas didn't in real life they would end up finishing in fifth place uh, 17 games 28 points that's what's been simulated I'm not sure if they're up to date realistic results or what but that's what we have got here in the database. Uh, and obviously now they're about to start their Torneo Clausura. We have got this database at the 10th of January. I believe it's already started because the games are about to start in three days time. And also while playing in Mexico, we do go into the CONCACAF Champions Cup if results are good enough, which last season they were, which means we are facing up against Vancouver in the first round of the CONCACAF Champions League. That is the Champions League of the CONCACAF. So it'd be great to go ahead and win that one as well. And like I said here at Chivas, one of the rules is you can only sign Mexican players. There is no way you can get around this. It is enforced by the boards. So it's a bit like rebuilding Athletic Bilbao. We can't go outside of the Mexican region, just like you can't go outside the Basque region with Bilbao. So this should be a very exciting rebuild. And obviously the whole rebuild is because this man, Chicharito, has returned to the club. I would be lying if I said he was not one of my favorite players of all time. I'm obviously a massive Manchester United fan and we signed him for 6.5 million from uh, Chicharito us and was my favorite players in this time and still is to this day one of my favorite players he has gone on to have an unbelievable career playing for Manchester United Real Madrid by Leverkusen West Ham Sevilla and then has smashed it over in America for the last three seasons the point where now he's been picked up by his old club again Chivas where he is still a good Liga MX player and hopefully he's going to absolutely smash it for us we're using a 4 2 formation and a 4 2 3 one as we convert through these seasons uh, which should be great fun we'll see how we go go ahead and do uh, and also going to set the little sort of extra task on this rebuild of only signing players under the age of 18 and obviously having players come from the youth academy so the rebuild's going to be difficult it's going to be very fun there's not only too many signings but hopefully we can do some nice wonder kids search and find some lovely little regens and rebuild chivas into champions of mexico so let's see what we're going to do in the second half of this first season so for this season in the curse order we ended up finishing down in eighth place with seven wins five draws and five losses a positive 13 goal difference and 26 points not the greatest season of all time but we move on it's not the end of the world we're going to hopefully have a very good time next time out i don't believe we qualify for the clausura i don't think we do in fact i think it's probably Probably the uh, top. Oh, we did. In fact, we you qualify for the top eight. That makes more sense. Uh, so we went ahead and lost to Tulka in the first round. So quite a misery in the quarterfinals there. Uh, it would be good to go further on, but ended up winning this one was uh, America beating Cruz Azul. Now, Club America are going to be one of the hardest teams to try and overtake. In my opinion, one of the best teams in North America, including the MLS, everything like that. Club America are simply fantastic and they are extremely, extremely rich. So it's going to be hard to try and overtake them. But that is the whole point in this, that it is going to be very, very difficult. And speaking of playing against Club America, we did that this season in the CONCACAF Championship. Champions League final. But we ended up going 1 0 down thanks to Martin on the ball just in front of our back line. Quinones finding a Figaldo, who, if you've never used Vidalgo, is a fantastic Spanish central midfielder. We're going to go ahead and get on the attack ourselves. Gutierrez finds Flores from the edge of the box and he blasts it home for 1 1 in 23 minutes. And in the 55th minute, some lovely build up fray from the back. Gonzalez with a fantastic ball through to the little P, Chicharito, who scores to make Chivas CONCACAF Champions League. League winners 
in season number one. All it takes is King Chicharito coming back and in 29 games, he has scored 20 goals and got two assists. He has still got some very good stats, even though in this save, he is now 36 years of age. 16 finishing, 16 composure, 17 anticipation, 17 off the ball. The, all the things that we remember and love from his days at Manchester United and Real Madrid and West Ham. He is still that unbelievable striker. And even though it didn't quite pan out this season, how he wants to do in the league positions, winning the CONCACAF Champions League shows we are at a certain level where we can certainly go ahead and challenge for the Clausura and the Apuerta in this rebuild. Now, like I said, signings are going to be very, very difficult to come by. So there is not going to be many, many signings for me to go through because I am keeping it to under 18s that are Mexican only. So this is going to be very, very difficult to see if we can sign any players to come in and help out this team. I mean, in terms of the team who performed at a top, top level this season, there might be some players. If you guys are managing in Mexico, North America, where you could go ahead and pick them up. And our number one player this season was Juan Jose Macias. He has 16 determination, 24 years of age, and some fantastic stats, which you guys might be interested in. And it's the reason we ended up playing the 4 triple 2 this season. So we could get him and Chicharito into the team. Uh, this guy is consistent. He loves big matches. And actually, stats-wise, is simply brilliant. Nine caps for Mexico, four goals, five foot ten. Places, shots, and shoots from distance are two very, very good traits to go ahead and have as well. So he has been absolutely fantastic. In terms of average rating, it was Chicharito on 7.09, winning the whole lot. Roberto Alvarado is a fantastic player who wants to go ahead and play for a better side, which... You can understand he scored seven goals, 10 assists this season with 16 dribbling, 11 determination, very good physical attributes. And at five foot eight, he is going to be absolutely fantastic for this rebuild if we can keep a hold of him. 10 assists for Eric Gutierrez in CDM. Uh, Alan Mozo with four goals and nine assists. As we look through the team at the specific one, the kids we could have coming through and being good on your guys' saves, Cade Colwell sticks out as sort of a name which could be very good already here at Chivas. Fantastic moustache on him. Uh, currently playing at the USA, Bob's he has got Mexican heritage, hence why he's at the club. He's got a very good pace, good dribbling, good first touch, decent determination. Certainly has some room to grow. Uh, Francisco Mendez has got some decent potential. Mateo Chavez at left back, also some very good potential. But to be honest, the potential here at Chivas isn't as high as I would like it to be for us to go ahead and really challenge at the top of this league. Even as you've just seen there, flicking through the under-23s and the under-18s, there isn't a lot here. And even in the Tapital, which is like their B team, also, not really a lot for us to go ahead and do. It's certainly going to be difficult for us to uh, find enough players that are going to be good enough for this league. Uh, so we really need to rely on the youth academy. Luckily, there is a four and a half star youth recruitment, three and a half star training facilities and three star youth facilities. So we should be able to bring in some good players from the local area that are going to come in and help. But with this being this updated database from the middle of January, we don't actually get any regions. So it's another little bit harder this season because all of our players have have aged and we haven't had a single region come through so we're now going to go ahead see if there's any signings to be made if not we'll jump to the end of season number two and show you how we did there so as hinted no signings and not really many outgoings either a few players leaving on free contracts and Luis Gomez and Javier Guerrero leaving for a grand total of five thousand pounds so not many outgoings at all so we are here at the end of January to check up on how things have gone this season now in the league table of the Apoleta we absolutely Absolutely smashed it. 17 wins, 11, sorry, 17 games, 11 wins, five draws, and only one loss. Scoring 38 goals, conceding 16, 22 goal difference, 38 points, top of the league. But you can see we didn't go all the way and win this one, which is very, very frustrating. In the quarterfinals, we went ahead and played against Santos Laguna and beat them 5-1 on aggregate and absolutely smashed them. The semi-finals, we played against Cruz Azul and based on our home goal advantage, we drew 3-0 because the advantage got into the final where we obviously went ahead and lost to Leon 3-2 on aggregate. There is again a double-legged final, which makes it even more fun. But sadly, I lost there to Leon, which means that the Apple is not going to be ours to come home, which is disappointing. And in the uh, class order, as our aging players went a little bit worse, we end up finishing in fifth place. 32 points, 10 wins, two draws, and five losses. And Cruzers all went on to the win this one. In the quarterfinals, we played up against Santa Laguna and beat them 4-2 yet again. Uh, heading into the semifinals, we played against Tigres and got absolutely battered 4-2. There is 
some big old clubs in this uh, sort of area of Mexico and in, in Mexico in general. Uh, Tigres end up losing to Cruz Azul 2 0, who are again are a fantastic club and went ahead and beat us, which is a shame. So, means the Clausura and the Apuerta still are not quite in our hands. Obviously, last season we went in, in the CONCACAF Champions Cup and won that against Club America. This season we got to the final yet again and faced up against league rivals Tulka. We're in the 40th minute. They took the lead thanks to a ball from Belmonte to Allison, not there for Allison in the left hand side to Araujo, who made it 1 0. And that was the only goal. So, a trophyless season number two. No Apuerta, no Clausura, no CONCACAF Champions Cup. But we are in the FIFA Club World Cup, which is quite interesting. It'll be nice to see if we can put up a challenge in that one. I mean, recently, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Chelsea, Man City have been winning that one. So it'll be very difficult for us to win this one. We've got some fun games against PSG and RB Leipzig this season, as well as playing against Colo Colo from Colombia, I believe. Chile, that is awful ball knowledge from me. They've got five-star youth recruitment. Wow, they're a good club. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be facing with them, PSG and RB Leipzig, which is going to be great fun. The tactic we used this season was still the 4 triple 2 and Chicharito is aging now 37 years of age 24 goals in 47 games is absolutely smashing it but I've got a season the feeling he is going to retire at the end of season number three which is going to be a big old shame as we've not brought home an a puerta or a clausura but scoring the winning goal in a CONCACAF Champions League is a hero's return for Chicharito and one that I'm very very happy with but we'll have to see if he does go ahead and retire but I think at 37 with the physicals going down the determination going down the money he's on it might not be the end of the world the last thing for us to check out is the wonder kids that come through and luckily as mentioned our youth crewman is absolutely fantastic so already some fantastic players coming through like eduardo gonzalez a striker with 15 finishing nine composure not the greatest of pace six foot three good flair is going to be a decent striker for us hopefully in the future and elias alejandro Ghana is going up an incredible amount is uh, already worth 1.9 million pounds a center back who is 16 years of age at six foot three needs to improve his actual defensive stats but certainly with this sort of progression he will go ahead and do that so two very exciting stars coming into the team as well as a whole host of potential four star players so hopefully again they can progress into good players for us so again we'll see if there's any signings for season three if not we'll jump straight to the end so as mentioned sadly Chicharito has gone ahead and retired and based on his career stats it looks like he went ahead and retired midway through uh, this season I believe or at the very end of this season which is a little bit heartbreaking was very good tw uh, 39 games 13 goals and six assists but sadly we can't see much else they went ahead and done in terms of his attributes etc dropping a 6.83 is certainly a slow decline but ending his career at the club he started at and getting that CONCACAF Champions League is absolutely fantastic it'll be interesting to see if we have one and a Puerta or a Crasura but just before we get to there we have made one sign so far and that is Mateus Reese this guy is an 18 year old uh, Mexican well now turning 19 that we signed at the start of the season from Fluminense in Brazil he is extremely consistent he has got some very good stats very well rounded physically very good determination very good technical stats as well at this young age six starts 16 off the bench this season with just two assists and not the greatest this season but that five star potential is something we do not have a lot of in this club so a signing that was needed to be made for 5.25 million and is actually on your guys saves as well so hopefully for this rebuild we can develop Matthias Reese into a fantastic left winger and we can show you guys what this guy can get to but it's certainly a player worth keeping an eye on now in terms of competitions this season we again come in the top five in the Apuerta getting in third place nine wins six draws two losses but again didn't manage to go ahead and win it which is very very frustrating we got to the quarter final and beat Mazalan 5-1 on aggregate got to the semi-finals of the Apuerta and got battered 5-3 by Santos Laguna which is a shame and uh, the winners of that Puerta as well was Santos Laguna beating, beating Pachua 5-3 on aggregate so that is a big old shame and in terms of the Glazura we ended up finishing in 8th place an absolute drop off 7 wins 5 draws 5 losses 11 goal difference 26 points and the champions were Leon now obviously I didn't expect this to happen in this rebuild as we've had no new players really come into the club we are developing players but a lot of the players here at Chivas of an older age I mean as we just look through the age profile of this club obviously we brought up anyone with good potential now in to the first team but other than that is 36 31 30 all sort of above 26 and up are the very good players or the four star three and a half star players 
And now there's a few players coming through that are decent at a younger age. So I expect season four and season five to be the seasons we can challenge for the Apuerta and the Clausura and maybe even the CONCACAF Champions League as well. But obviously a big hole with the legend that is Chicharito leaving. Uh, Juan Jose Macias has been doing very well for us. 25 goals and 10 assists. Roberto Alvarado is still here at the club. even though he wanted to leave at the start. 16 goals and 8 assists. And Alan Moronzo uh, is a 22 assist right back who just has been absolutely fantastic for us. He is of quite an older side of the things at 29 years of age, but could be an unbelievable right back to go and pick up in your saves at that 29 year old uh, age. I'm probably about 27, 26 as you start the game. So could be a really good cheap option at right back who gets lots and lots of assists on that right hand side. And Matteo Chavez for a younger option to the left hand side could also be a fantastic shout. 12 assists this season, very good crossing, very good stamina, very good pace, determined. And again, an absolute bargain of that sort of price. Could be someone to dominate in the championship or even the lower half of the Premier League. So someone to go ahead and keep an eye out on. And as we get into the CONCACAF Champions Cup as well, obviously we had the final in the first season, we won it. The final in the second season, we didn't win it. And this time, the semi-finals, we lost to Pumas. Uh, we went ahead and beat Philadelphia, I believe, or Tigres. Beat Tigres in the final, 1-0 as well. Again, in Pumas, a team we've not seen too much of so far, finishing 10th in the Clausura, but going ahead to win the CONCACAF is very, very impressive. Uh, but obviously something we want to go ahead and do ourselves as well again. But we'll have to see if we can go ahead and build this team. Again, using the Wonder Kids come through the academy, that is all we've got. And signing under 18s from anyone else that gets developed in Mexico or in North America. You can see, based on this potential tab right here, there's not a lot of partially Mexican players coming through, which are absolutely smashing it. So it's a whole host of scouting all of these players. Uh, if you want to know how I'm doing it, I am quite literally dragging and dropping down, right click, report, and every single player we can go ahead and do. Hence, there's a whole load of Fs here that are not very good. My next job is to go ahead all of these ones and scout them because we know nothing about them and a brand new through as well. And a quick warning, you can only scout 50 players at one time. I suppose in terms of finances, we are building and the clubs be very very rich which is great to go ahead and see and if we wanted to you know take it away from this under 18 Zoli I'm sure we could go ahead and bring in some sort of fantastic Mexican players that are just smashing it in real life like uh, Diego Lanes uh, over in Spain is an absolutely fantastic winger he is now signed for Tigres uh, the last time I knew of him was at Real Betis turns out he's at Tigres in real life but we could go ahead and sign players like that if we wanted to but obviously making it a very difficult rebuild signing players under the age of 18 only let's get in to season for see if we can go ahead without our star man Chicharito and take Chivas to the champions of Mexico well we managed to find just one player to go ahead and sign and to be honest he's not brilliant I just wanted to see if we could sign someone and Santiago Cobain uh, from Leon was the player we went ahead and signed he played 38 games last season in the league at MX so I thought the scout report was lying to me the fact he wasn't very good in fact he's just not very good and Leon were absolutely desperate for centre backs he is left footed which is slightly helpful but hasn't progressed at all this season sadly wasn't exactly fantastic for us but now as we head into the league table we're gonna have to go straight to the quarterfinals because we did end up finishing in the top eight where we got through as did three other teams on home advantage against Tulka drawing three all overall but with that two all in the first leg becoming our favor we are through we faced against Cruz Azul with a 5-2 victory and absolutely battered them setting up a final with Tigres who got through on home advantage we faced up in the second leg where we had to go ahead and win because Tigres won at our place 1-0 so we had to take it to the Estadio Universito de Nuevo Leon where first goal Gamboa finds Garcia back to Chavez on the left hand side gets the byline cuts it back to Matias Reese our signing for 5.25 million and he bags at home Chiquete finds Alvarado on the left hand side he's going to get a ball into the box a fantastic run and Juan Jose Macias is there to make it 2-0 even though we had 10 men and we go ahead and win the Apuerta for the first time in this Chivas rebuild we have lifted a Mexican trophy and what happens I believe is we go into a, a champions of champions kind of thing so that should be good fun to find out how we did there in the uh, Clausura. we ended up finishing in seventh place uh, eight go uh, eight wins three draws 
and six losses, 27 points. And as you can tell, we didn't go ahead and win this one. Our quarterfinals, we weren't even in, which is a bit of a shame. But as mentioned, we did have the champions of champions to see if we could go ahead and become the overall champions of Mexico. We had to face up against Cruz Azul, who won the Clausura. We start the highlight with Chavez throwing the ball into you, Wonder Kid Gamboa, who I will show you in just two seconds. A ball to the back stick, and Alvaro makes it 1 0. But in the 48th minute, Cruz Azul were not done there. Ramirez finds Waller back to Ramirez, batters it home. A fantastic finish, and Garcia was not able to save that one. Mozo, the 22 assist man, right back, finds Gamboa. Wills ball into the back stick, and Mateus Reese, the bargain signing of £5 million, scores again. Now, Barry on the left hand side finds Chavez, who's going to get a ball into the box, and Gamboa strikes it home for 3 1, and we smell blood. Gutierrez from the penalty spot makes it 4, and we are the Campione, the Campione, the champion. Champions of champions of Mexico. And one player that was a fantastic player for us this season was uh, Elias Gamboa. He went ahead last season, played 42 games and got 10 goals and 8 assists. For some reason, the Champions, the Champions goes into the next season. So I have to go into my 2027 save file to uh, actually show you guys that game. But this season, I just played one game and it was that final. We dropped a 7.1 and got a goal. And last season, his breakout season since coming for our academy was absolutely brilliant. Uh, he has not got the great stats all round but simply has got five star potential so i locked him into the team as you can see from the team we have got a few players locked in now a one star goalkeeper in william joa simply because he's got five star potential and 19 determination i figured let's get him in for this season and see if he can be a superstar for season number five uh, medina is a brand new signing as well from Pachua. he played 16 games last season got one goal two assists and eight million pound signing and i think he is going to be the big difference for season five to hopefully bring everything home 16 finishing 16 composure it's like having chicharito back but an 18 year old's body a value of 10 million pounds 18 determination as well just sadly incredibly inconsistent but hopefully can put that behind him and matthias reese who we have been obviously talking about a lot thanks to being our pretty much only big boy signing uh, has been progressing very very well with that game time as well and last season to the 6.91 with a uh, 10 goals nine assists in 39 games and um yeah it's going to be a very very good season for season number five like i said a few signings this season other than the other other seasons we've signed absolutely no one israel estrada 2.5 million pounds five star uh, potential striker hopefully can turn into something as well as the backup to medina uh, jose vasquez is a dm with 19 aggression and 16 bravery again could turn into anything he wants to be five star potential great to see him adan escobello five star potential right winger looks very very good and the last one is jose javier pedroso a center back with 18 determination i love to see it 11 heading 14 marking 14 tackling only five foot nine but as we know from little um butcher martinez who did not always need to be incredibly tall and jose juan macias has finally left mexico to go ahead and play for damak uh, he's going to go ahead and earn forty one thousand pounds a week great determination he's been fantastic for us this entire rebuild pretty much our star striker alongside chicharito and replaced him well enough last season as well, well we did end up winning the apuerta which is great to see now obviously this season we've got the concaf champions cup the uh, Apuerta, the Clausura, and uh, hopefully at the end of it, the champions, the champions yet again. So let's see, season five, how are we going to go ahead and do? Well, first off, in the Apuerta, we come in third position and managed to get to the final again. Well, we were 3 2 down after the first leg, but Medina gets us off to a fantastic start here against Monterey and batters at home before we go again to make it 2 0 and get the win. Flores tapping that one home, and we were Liga MX Apuerta winners yet again back-to-back -back seasons is good to go ahead and lift that one the question is could we do the double for the first time in this rebuild not only winning the apuerta also winning the clausura we were lucky enough to face up against monterey again where in the first leg they were actually a one nil well actually no it was a one all draw heading into the final game against Monterey at Chivas' home stadium. We're going to go ahead and have the performance of a lifetime. Matias Reese with a fantastic finish. Again, go ahead and sign this guy on your saves. He then finds a great ball into Medina, who I wish I could tell you to go ahead and get in your saves because he's fantastic. Matias Reese finds Martinez for two assists and one goal in just a half so far. Mozo to the back stick. Matias Reese tries to get there. Chavez does get there. He finds a ball back into the box and Sav Edera goes ahead for 4-0 maybe. Monterey going to go get ahead Chavez a ball back in Calvert Lewin has just headed it and Castillo scored for 4-1 I can't believe Calvert Lewin's here Medina finds Alvarado on the right hand side 
side. He gets a ball into the back stick to make it 5-1. And an absolute battering. God, I want to see if this is the cover. Lewin, Robert down the right-hand side. Pulls the ball back to Chavez. He batters at home for 5-2. But a 6-3 on aggregate victory gives us not only the Apuerta, but also the Eclazorda while facing up against a 31-year-old Dominic Cavalu and he's been smashing it at Monterey. What a universe football manager can create sometimes. Um, that's absolutely hilarious. And Eax Mariba. What is going on? I've never noticed players moving to Mexico. Is it because I've got it loaded as a league? It's a, a viable option? Who knows? Yerson Chacon as well is a fantastic wonder kid. If you've never signed this guy, he is an absolute baller and he is a bargain as well. So go ahead and get yourself Yerson Chacon. He starts off at, at a club in Colombia. I will click back on him because you need to know who that guy is and where you can sign him from. Deportivo uh, Tashira in Venezuela. He is a fantastic wonder kid to go ahead and sign on your save. So obviously that was the uh, Apuerta and the Clausura. We then had the Campions, the Campions, where obviously last season we were winners. This season it'd be fantastic to go ahead and win again, but that is coming up in just a second's time. We now have the CONCAF Champions Cup where after the first season we went ahead and won it. Could we go ahead and win it again? We haven't won it since the first season where Chicharito, the reason we are doing this rebuild, scored the goal. So we were faced up against Club America, who as I mentioned at the very start, I wanted the biggest clubs in Mexico and Savio gets on the right hand side and scores a screamer before Awude goes to the left hand side finds ball back to Walla into Diego Lanes into De La Rosa and it's 2-0 to Club America already, which is absolute heartbreak, but we were not done. We will not go out without a fight and Mozo down the right hand side finds a ball in and Krecky gets the ball into his own net. If that's Ladislav Krecki, what a wonderful universe we are living in. Another fantastic player. Uh, Palacios for us finds Alvarado to make it two well when we were back on level terms in the 77th minute. But in the 94th minute, Diego Lanes beats Castillo, gets to the edge of the box, finds a ball into the back post and he scores to make it 3-2 and to make Club America champions of the CONCACAF. So we won the Plazera. We won the Apuerta. We won the Campions, the Campions. Hopefully, again, that's coming up in a few minutes time. I actually need to still play that game. But the CONCACAF Champions Cup, we lost 3-2 to Club America, which means we are not champions of that one. The Wonder Kids we have progressed through in this rebuild have been very exciting. I understand I haven't touched on every single one up to this point. But to be honest, there's so many different Wonder Kids that are coming through. It's very difficult. Thomas Medina was an unbelievable signing and turned out to be a fantastic striker. Uh, go ahead and see if you can find any Wonder Kid striker in Mexico. Matias Reese is the only player we signed that was real in this rebuild. Uh, he has been fantastic for us now. A value of seven and a half billion pounds, 20 goals and 18 assists. And Roberto Alvarado as well, a Mexican winger who again could be a bargain in your saves to go ahead and pick up. And Alan Mozo, the assist king at right back, could be an older head to bring in to absolutely smash it. Uh, Fernando Beltran we're not touched on at all. A fantastic young DM, uh, now 30 years of age in our save, 25 in yours would be brilliant. Cade Colwell never really turned into anything sadly, but could be a great player on your save. Elias Gamboa was the cam who has been instrumental in this team as well, just 17 years of age. And Elias Alejandro Reniago, who he brought through from the first season, five star potential, three and a half star, 14 marking, 15 tackling, 10 heading, great jump and reach, has been brilliant, but I need to go ahead and play this Campiones de Campiones game. Well, as you can see in the background, I can only assume the Campiones de Campiones only happens if there is two different Williams of the Clausura and the Apuerta, because we are now past the date that it happened last season, the 20th of June, and there is absolutely nothing on our schedule to say we're going to be facing up in the Campiones de Campiones, just the Apuerta starting in a week's time. So, that's the rebuild. We are the champions of Mexico. We won the Apuerta, won the Clausura. We won the CONCAF Champions League in the first season with Chicharito, which actually puts a big old smile on my face. And we have completed it, bringing the Mexican club Chivas, only signing Mexican players back to the top of Mexican football. Thank you for watching this rebuild, a little bit different to my bog standard ones. YouTube recommends you go ahead and watch this rare one. I recommend you go ahead and watch this one. And of course, subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you next time.